Yeah, from 9 on, he's in the industrial area. Industrial area. Looks like he's on a pavement. Stand by. Just a quick note to remind you all of my BitChute channel, where I stick all of the videos that get taken down by YouTube because of privacy complaints or any other complaint. So follow the link in the description to go to my BitChute channel, where these videos live forever. I'm going to try and break down what happened in this video, but before I do, can anyone see the irony here? Some people walk into an Apple store while using a function of their Apple phone which is the camera to record but they're told they're not allowed so you can go into an Apple store with an Apple phone but you're not allowed to use all of its features while in the store but anyway let's get into the video when I first watched this video my first reaction was one of disbelief but then the more I watched the more I realized that security were mostly correct as far as I know while yes you are on private property which is open to the public with implied rights of access. They can make up whatever rules they like. And if one of those rules is no recording in the store, then although there is no actual law against it, they can ask you to leave. I'm pretty sure it works the same way as gaining entry to a nightclub, where some of them have a dress code. And if you don't adhere to that dress code, then you ain't coming in. And as soon as he asked you to leave, and you don't comply, you then become a trespasser. And again, as far as I know, you only have to be asked to leave and refuse to become a trespasser. You don't have to be told you are trespassing and they are trespassing you. Is it? We don't so, get permission to, yeah. to film on private property. Do you not? And actually, if you speak to Meadowhall, you have to get a permission right of Meadowhall right to no record in Meadowhall as well. We we'll just walk right that's through. Their, that's their rules. I know, but we we'll just walk right through you, and no one said anything. Have to speak so. to about that. Unfortunately, this is private property and we don't allow recording on here. Okay, I'm that's sure fine. It's publicly that. accessible, though, right? It is private property though. But it's probably so accessible do, though, right? It is accessible onto our property, yeah, yeah. but because it is private property, you're not allowed to record it without our permission. Okay? But I can not give public, permission to do but that. But I can because it's publicly it's, accessible. It's, it's not public property though. It doesn't it's, matter whether it's public. Right. It, it, what, it, what matters is it, that it's accessible to the public. Uh, which, what he's saying if you're it, which you under know, section is, 33 it's, of the Criminal is, Justice Act. It is accessible, yeah. but we're not, we're not here to talk about police laws. We're here in private property, and this private property you're not no, allowed to record. private property is not criminal okay. anyway. It's not, I don't want the police to be So there. you've got to ask permission, and we're not giving permission to do that. Okay, well private property is a civil offence, not a criminal offence. So that's up to you guys to deal with, not the police um, or anything like that. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna politely decline to stop my footage. I'm gonna carry on recording um, and just carry about my day. Yeah, okay. well, we we would ask you at this particular point then to leave our premises. Okay. Are, are you trespassing to you me? Because we've not given you permission to film within are you our store. trespassing me? I'm asking are you. Are you trespassing me in the Apple Store? I know. I'm That's where your you, jurisdiction lies. I'm asking you to leave our store because we've not given you permission. Yeah, but I'm asking you a certain question. Are you trespassing me? I've answered what I'm answering. Guys, you're okay with trespassing on premises. You can have some leave. You're not. No one has to leave. No. Are you trespassing me then, sir? We would like you all to leave our premises. Are you trespassing me from the Apple Store, sir? We've declined you to record it in our store. Okay. I'm going to politely ask again. Are you trespassing us from the Apple Store? Yes. The landlord's decision, if they decide that you're not welcome, yeah. they ask you to leave, you then become a trespasser. So I suggest you remove yourselves. Common law. law, we can remove you. Under what law? Common law. law. Indictable offences only. Thank you very much. Indictable offences, that had a rest you for an indictable offence. is not an indictable offence. No, but it's a common law offence that I can remove you for. Can your colleague wants a conversation with me. Right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let you finish that conversation with me. I'll have a conversation with you. Well, then, yeah. What I'm saying, means. you've just said that you're used to this, right? But all right. oh, trespass, the police don't even get involved. Never mind these That's trespass. because, so that's because the, the landlords can remove people so the police don't have to get involved. Right. So if you'd like to remove yourselves from the store, sir? Believe it or not, what this security guard said was correct. And if you've been asked to leave and you don't, you become a trespasser and he can use reasonable force to remove you under common law which has nothing to do with 
Section 3 of the Criminal Law Act 1967, which is designed for the use of force in making an arrest. And not the use of force for removing you from a private premises. I'm officially asking you to leave Meadow Hall on behalf of the manager. At this point, if you refuse to leave Meadow Hall, you become a trespasser. And if you continue to refuse to leave, they can use reasonable force to remove you under common law. Because we're protecting people's data who are attending the centre, I don't know your intentions with that video. Privacy in public. It's a privately owned building. But how, how is it? Nevertheless, gentlemen, how is there a data breach? I've now asked you to leave, so you are currently trespassing. Please take me to civil court. See me civil court. Then. I'm just going to. I'll just remove you if I have to. Really? Because Section 3 from the Law Act is a diehardable offence. Same with Section 3. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, that's why you're walking around with a camera. Off you go, sir. Oh, well, do you know about all this? Yeah. Don't touch me. Do you not touch me? A guiding hand out of the building, no, no, sir. I can walk myself. Your friends now, one after another. I'm in a, I'm in a shop. What? Why are you doing that for? Why are you doing that for? Don't do that. Don't touch me. Make Don't touch me. Do not, me. do not touch me. You just pulled me off the chair. Don't touch me. Do not touch me. You just pulled me off the chair. Don't touch me. Do not touch this guy has done this before. This guy has done this before. Unprofessional. Yeah. Take my hand. You calm down. I'm just seeing what's going on, obviously. Yeah, but you're not allowed to All right, okay. Why are they not allowed to film? Because it's our code of conduct. We don't allow... You'll wake me What an asshole. All right, all I'm going to do is I'll just stay doing my job here, mate. I'm just going to understand that. Thank you. Oh, it's kicking off the line. This guy has done this before. This guy has done this before. Unprofessional. You need sacking. Yeah? Can't do this. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, just pull me off the chair. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. He is an aggravating person. He aggravates the situation. He aggravates the situation. Calm, calm. I've told him to make calm. Calm, calm. Get him off me and I'll say calm. It's simple as that. Now I'm gonna the voice. No one else bought you, you Stick up. Is that security guard? This before, he needs sacking. Sacking metal wall. Under arrest, please. Under arrest, you can't arrest people. You were, you were not a police officer. Now, at first, when I watched that, I was quite shocked. But after looking into it, it turns out that anybody can arrest someone for breach of the peace under common law, as long as certain criteria is met, which is a breach of the peace is committed in his presence. The person affecting the arrest reasonably believes that such a breach will be committed in the imminent future by the person arrested or a breach of the peace has been committed or the person affecting the arrest reasonably believes that a breach of the peace has occurred and that a further breach is threatened. So the breach of the peace power of arrest is provided by the common law and therefore an any person power of arrest. Breach of the peace powers originate from the laws Alfred the Great consolidated into the common law and the first legislative reference to the common law breach of the peace was under the Justice of the Peace Act 1361. So anyway, after this security guard seems to have made a lawful arrest 
for breach of the peace under common law, he then makes a big mistake, which is to turn around and tell Ryan that he's arresting him for a Section 5 public order offence, which only a police officer can arrest for, using Section 24 of PACE. And being that now Ryan is outside of the shopping centre, and therefore not trespassing anymore, and the fact that you can't be charged for breach of the peace, only moved and released, or bound over by a magistrate, I think the fact that they're now holding him there, against his will, constitutes false imprisonment. Anyway, as interesting and entertaining as this video is, believe it or not, the security guard in this video was mostly lawful in his actions, in my opinion. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, especially if you're a solicitor or a barrister, because I'm not. This is just what I know. No, do not tell me what to do. If there's something going on, I will capture the evidence. What the hell are they doing to Ryan down there? Do not touch me, that is strong advice. Do not touch me. You're on private property, you have been asked to leave. So you're yeah, it's a civil matter, you do not have permission to touch me. Don't even go there. Okay. So let's move along. It's a civil matter. He's not been arrested for breach of the peace, sir. It's no longer a civil matter. Yeah, well, that's not me, is it? I'm a different person. Oh, well, yeah, you've been asked to move, you're on private property. I'll be leaving in a minute. How about now? I'll be leaving in a minute. Absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm looking for now is for a sign saying no filming. And there's no sign saying no filming. So I just want to say thank you, South Yorkshire Police, for allowing us to uh, look at this sign. It would be interesting if we could find no filming signs on there, but Meadowhall don't seem to take that into consideration. So perhaps you could pass some feedback on. Well, ask. So we can but ask. We shall speak to you. I just got a right, right, right at the end there. You've got to Put that camera down, or we will tase you.